my hair looked like really good today i had it really curly like perfect nice and it like looked so good and then it rained <laughs> so now if you're like wow your hair looks extra terrible today i mean i know that it hasn't really looked particularly amazing ever since i got a cut but i'm still working things out and uh this is just what we have today i don't think it looks that bad though it just looks not as great do you see this big box over here this one so i have had a cart made on sephora's website for literally months waiting for the vib rouge sale and then it came and i was really stressed about it because then it was like what if this isn't the right stuff i don't know and uh i checked out the cart anyway so that's what that box is so we're gonna go through the my 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 order this is a haul video i will let you know right now that a chunk of the stuff that i bought is not for me i mean like most of it's for me but a lot of it is actually christmas presents but because some of the people that i bought for do watch my channel i'm just gonna pretend like everything is for me and then you'll never know which stuff isn't for me i mean you probably have some idea because i'm really not that good of an actress but i'm gonna pretend like some of it's not for me i did do a purchase in store as well i only bought four things i'm gonna show that to you first so that you can see what i bought in store the reason i didn't order in store is because i wanted to buy a hair product and because of you know, the whole aerosol thing. You can't get fast shipping when you order stuff like that. So I did the purchase in store so that I could get faster shipping on this stuff. So the product that I bought in store was the uh, Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. Now this is a $37.50 hairspray, basically. Can you believe that? I'm the girl that goes to Walmart and is like $20 and that's too much money for a hair product. This is twice that. but. I really want to try it because it's like, so, I've heard so many good things about it. And it's like you spray it and it smells so good. It smells like a little bit musky, but not too musky because I usually hate musky smells. It smells, it smells sexy. That's what I would say. It smells sexy. And basically what it does is uh, when my hair is curly, <laughs> unlike now because rain, but when my hair is curly, I'll spray this in it and then it just really helps hold the body. And it really helps hold some texture and I can like do this. And take my hand out and it'll actually stay up like that without feeling gross and so so far i mean i've only had this for a couple of days but so far i really like it and the smell is so good and uh in store i also bought one of these uh little brush cleanser sponges because sponges <laughs> one of these little brush cleaner soaps because i forgot to include it in my cart online and i really need i need a new one and also i really feel like the sale is a good opportunity to buy a new one because you're going to use it anyway you know so that's i bought that and then i really wanted to try a new concealer and uh casey holmes is a, is a youtuber who i actually don't watch very often but i don't know why because i really like her she reminds me of a young britney spears she just she got the she, she looks like her a little bit she sounds like her so i really like her and i feel like i like a lot of products that she likes we have very similar tastes especially with like she's the only youtuber that i've ever seen that liked the maybelline better skin foundation and concealer and i love those so that's kind of like why i liked her to begin with and she uses the smashbox studio skin concealer a lot typically i'm not a big smashbox fan because i don't know like the products are like pretty expensive but i've never found anything that's like really extraordinary or worth the money from them uh but i picked up this concealer anyway i trusted casey and so far i actually do really like it it is the concealer that i'm wearing today and i feel like my under eyes do look brighter and better and something that i like about this like whole studio skin thing that a lot of brands are doing i know that the brands are doing it because youtube is becoming such a big thing but i love it because it means that the makeup is gonna look like skin because now we have cameras that take video as well as if not better than our eyeballs see you know so it's got to look perfect it can't look like you know sd tv makeup it's got to look pristine and so i really like it and this so far is a really great concealer and the last thing i bought in store is the Too faced melted matte lipstick in naughty by nature i really have been wanting a brown lipstick i don't know why i think it's just because when i look at my collection i didn't have a brown so i was like let's buy a brown and I really also wanted to try out the Melted Matte formula because I don't really like the Melted formula. Maybe it's something about the applicator or whatever, but the regular Melted Lipsticks don't love it. But I really wanted to try the matte ones anyway, and so far, so good. So far, I really like this lipstick. I've only worn it once, but I really like it. Now that's done. Those were like mini reviews, but now we're going to go into the box. I'm going to put the box on my little feet tray here and just pull things out of it. Some papers. Throw my lens cap on the floor. <laughs> what I love about Sephora boxes is they always, like, there's no wrapping on things. They just come, like, all sitting in here. There's no 
protective coating or anything. <laughs> So the first thing that I see right on top here, I bought three of these individual uh, sheet masks by Sephora. I love these, I love these, but what was weird was in store, because I made the in store purchases after I bought online, I noticed that they had like a box set of one of each of the different kind of sheet masks, but I specifically looked for that box set online, because I feel like they've had that in the past and I couldn't find it. So if I had known then that it was in store, I would have just bought it in store, but I didn't. So I bought these. Oh well. So the next thing I see in this box is probably the most expensive thing in here, but I want you to know something. I wanted this for like a really long time. I'm talking years. And I was like, but I don't really need it because I only have one face. <laughs> and you know, talk myself out of it, talk myself into it. And then I was like, no, no. I take makeup very seriously. And uh, I want to start doing it on other people more to get better at it. So I figured, Overall, I can rationalize buying an Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit. Ah, uh, look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to use this every day of the rest of my life, probably. This color right here. This is going to be like my main contour shade. I'm so excited to use this. I'm so excited to use this. This was, I'm so, so excited that I bought this. I have no regrets. Something else that I really wanted to try for a long time and just never have is the Benefit Erase Paste. Now, I love this Smashbox concealer, but you can still see some of my super dark under eye bags because I never sleep. <laughs> uh, so I was really, I was really wanting to get a corrector to go underneath whatever concealer I was using. And I know so many people who have used this corrector for so long one of my favorite YouTubers, I say that a lot, like that phrase a lot, but Emily Noel has been like one of my favorite YouTubers for years. And she has always used a race paste. And so I finally bought it. Oh, it comes with like a little spatula even. If I can get it in my hand properly. Look. Okay. That'll be good. That'll be fun. So this was nice. The two sort of liquidy products that I bought, they put in Ziploc bags. Uh, so I rebought the uh, Sephora Collection makeup remover because I love it. And I really wanted a new bottle because mine's finally empty. Pro tip here, this smaller bottle is better than the big bottle. I have no idea why. The big bottle just doesn't seem, seem to work as well. Maybe it's because, like, you see how it's, it separates and you just shake it before you use it? Maybe the ratio is off in the big bottle, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I bought the big bottle once, though, and I did not like it. It did not work. Small bottle for me all the way. And then I bought the Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray uh, in an attempt to find a cheaper alternative to the, to the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. That's why I bought this. So, you know, I'm looking forward to trying it. I also did get a 500-point perk while I was at it. This is a set by Buxom. It's called the Sexy Little Habits. It looks like it's got one of their liquid lipsticks, a lip gloss, an eyeshadow, and a mascara. Sounds like fun. I'm going to keep the lip gloss in my purse so that I always have one. Sounds like a plan, right? Right? I don't know. It's no secret already that I love face masks. So I saw this set by Peter Thomas Roth. And, you know, this is one of those things that I think if you really wanted to, you could, like, pick one to keep and then also like dole them out as gifts or you know whatever but this is a set by Peter Thomas Roth and it's kind of got like samples of all of their famous masks here and it says it's a $54 value and it was $31 was $31 holy moly and I don't know I just think any kind of thing where you get samples of liquid masks like this like I, I would think that one of these would be two or three uses right I think that that's just like a really great value especially with a brand like Peter Thomas Roth that is more expensive but is typically like really well liked. I don't know. This looks like a good set. I needed a new eye cream because my Clinique Pep Start is almost empty and I I like I like it a lot but lately I feel like it doesn't hydrate enough. Like my skin is extra dry and I need something a little bit better. So when I was looking at the Sephora website the Clinique one is actually $39. I didn't realize I paid that much for it and the Fresh Rose Hydrating Under Eye Cream is $51, $52, something like that. So Really, I feel like you're getting more product in here. It probably does better because it's fresh, so it's like a natural brand. Not that Clinique is not a good brand, but I just feel like when I think of fresh skincare, it's like next level amazing, right? And I don't know, it's not even that much more expensive. So I'm really, really excited to start using this eye cream instead. I hope, I hope, I love it. I've never tried anything from Fresh that I didn't like. Tried lots of things from Fresh where I didn't like the price, but I, uh, I don't know, and it looks like a pretty big little 
size here, you know? Like, you're getting a decent amount. How many, how much do you get in here? Half a fluid ounce. That's pretty good for an eye cream. I'm excited, because, like, this right here, right where people should be, you know, putting their highlighter, is my, like, number one problem zone. That's where my skin is dry. So, please, Fresh, help me out. Of course, I bought this. If you watch my channel, I haven't actually owned this product in about a year. But I talk about it all the time, because I love it. I just can't rationalize spending like $40 on a face powder, but it was time that the Too Faced Primed and Portless Powder rejoined my life. They changed the packaging. That's not how it looked before, but I needed this. Like, I needed this. When I was waiting for the Sephora order to arrive, I was like waiting, and then I went to in-store and made this purchase, and this powder was all gone. I was so happy I ordered it, and I just... <sighs> it's like my child went away to university and then came back. I missed you so much. Okay, okay, don't hate me for this next one. It's a little bit of a spoiler for an upcoming review on my channel because if you're watching my channel, you know that I've kind of mm, tried to make it so that all of my Tuesday reviews this month are foundations. And I tried a foundation for like the fourth time, like the fourth different sample that I've had of it, and finally decided that it was worth the money. Because here's the thing. With these Sephora sales, I like to buy a foundation because I'm not going to pay the full price for it ever because Sephora foundations, anything you get in there is expensive. I can't afford that shit. Usually I rebuy the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, but my skin has been so dry lately that even that foundation looks terrible on my skin. So I needed something that had a little more of like an emollient thing where it was soaking into my skin and something that was a little more hydrating. And so this was the foundation I decided to get. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I bought it in the exact same shade that I got in my Ipsy bag last month because it matches me perfectly. So, like, why bother? Why bother trying a new shade, you know? It's so fancy. When you watch as much YouTube as I watch, but you don't ever buy these expensive things because they're expensive and you're poor, and then these things that you see over and over again are, like, finally in real life in your hand, it feels a little surreal. Like, what is this? What is this? And that is my special occasion foundation from now on. And by special occasion, I mean every day because every day is a special occasion and every day is a reason to look your best. Right? No. Three things left in this box. Three. I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible because I don't want this to be like a half an hour long video. But I feel like I'm rushing. Like, I feel like I should be taking my time. As a YouTube viewer, I like when people are chill in their videos. But as a YouTube creator, I understand that people don't want to watch super long videos. It's a really difficult thing, being me, to be honest. You had to know this was going to end up here eventually, right? The Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Set. So these are the colors you get. Uh, and what I love about them the most is that they're deluxe sample size. I don't know anyone who has ever run through a liquid lipstick. I've definitely never run through one. I mean, I'm pretty sure Kat Von D doubled double there. I'll get through it eventually, but it's really hard. Like, you have to really wear a liquid lipstick to get through it. So I really like these deluxe sample sizes because, you know, it's easy to throw in your bag. You're not, you're, you know what I mean? Like, you're actually likely to use it. And with just this crazy variety of colors, I think this makes a really great gift. And I think, like, hell. I want these. So this is definitely something that I think if it's still around and uh, the VIB sale is this weekend. So VIB Rouge was last weekend. VIB is this weekend. Uh, if you can get the the discount, even if you can't get the discount, I think this is definitely worth picking up because I think it's 60 bucks. But like this is all the lipstick you're ever going to need. There's even a blue one or a purple one. I mean, look at it. I have heard so many good things about these NARS Velvet Lip lip glides that it's like a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick had a baby like it's matte but it's not drying and it's this and it's that so i really wanted to get one i mentioned emily noel already when i was talking about the erase paste and she did a whole video about how much she loves these and i i trust her like i blindly trust her she's like my internet mom she doesn't know me but she's my internet mom so i bought this shade i think this one's called stripped yeah and I just, I have one NARS Audacious lipstick, and it's in the shade Grace, so it's like a really bright pink, so I don't wear it that often, but I really like it. But it does transfer a lot, so I don't wear it that often. So I really wanted to get something else by NARS, and this has that nice, like, rubberized lid. I am going to swatch this, just because I want to know. I want to know! So it's got like one of those weird, roundy doe foot applicators. Yeah, okay, I see what they mean. Definitely, like, hydrating and, like, gloss-like, but I feel like I like this a lot. I'm gonna wear this. I'm so excited. There's only one more thing in here, and I had to buy this because I am such 
a slut for cute packaging. I didn't buy any Christmas sets last year from any brand because none of them really spoke to me. And the logical person in me who understands finances realizes that the Too Faced sets this year are almost identical to what they put out last year. I am almost disappointed in Too Faced as a brand that I consider one of my favorites for the lack of creativity in their Christmas sets this year. That being said, <laughs> I regretted not buying this set last year because it's both self-serving <laughs> and makes a great gift. So it's like, people that I know win, I win, everybody wins, so I bought the Grand Hotel Cafe. We're gonna open this right now. So basically what this is, if, if you don't know, is it comes with three palettes and a little better than sex deluxe sample, which I forgot about. Now I can use better than sex mascara, I'm excited. And then when you open the box up, the box has this like really cute design. So my plan is, I know I said I wasn't gonna spoil what's a present, what's not, but I'm gonna keep the box. It'll go in my YouTube background somewhere. It'll go on one of these shelves or whatever. Uh, Cause the box is really cute. I think it's like a diner. I'm gonna also use the better than sex uh, mascara. And then the palettes will be gift. Oh, okay. So I thought it was like, this is just like a protective box. Okay, I can dig. So this is actually it. Let's do this together, shall we? So I know that that comes off. I have no room on my desk to put it. <laughs> Ice tea. Do push back a little bit. And then I'm pretty sure these swing open. Oh. And this comes off. And the palettes, all three of them, come out. And then you have like a little 1950s diner, which is like 100% my desired aesthetic. So like this will go on my shelves behind me somewhere as a thing. And then there's the little two-faced thing in there. I just think it's so cute. I love it a lot. I realize that this is, again, not creative at all. It's so similar to what they did last year, but it makes a really great gift. And I love the box and I'm such a sucker for cute packaging. And that is the whole shebang. That's everything I bought. I spent way too much money, but uh, you know, there are a couple things that I would still like to get if I can purchase things in the VIB sale. I don't know, like skincare stuff. Like maybe I should buy another one of my toners and there's always more, isn't there? There's always more. If you bought anything in the VIB Rouge sale, make sure you let me know below because I would love to hear what you bought so that I know what to buy it next time. Or if you're planning on buying anything in the VIB sale this coming weekend, also let me know because I would love to hear what you bought there. If anything in this haul strikes you as particularly intriguing and you want to see like a dedicated review video on it, it probably wouldn't go up till like the beginning of December. But if there's anything that you want to see, please let me know uh, so that I can make sure that I do that because other than that, I'm just kind of picking whatever I want to do. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you next time. Bye!